Steve Brown's role on the board has been the most divisive, slanderous, and consistently racist in ways that it's hard to even uh, put in the context of uh, progressive politics today in the U.S. I mean, we're talking about someone who called uh, on the Internet for attacking Bernard White with baseball bats. So here you have a multimillionaire living in a penthouse, had a $7 million estate on Long Island, uh, he says he wants to solve the financial problems of WBAI. What he really means is he's determined to take it in another direction, the kind of programming that would be of interest to him and his millionaire friends, and would not be of interest to tenant organizers, union activists, community grassroots groups. So there's a very fundamental struggle that's going on. And Steve Brown has pulled together uh, and really keeps together and is able to fund very slick mailings uh, and has a lot of funds for other things like that, pulled together an opposition that are united really in, in trying to demoralize the listeners, consistently attack the station, attack station management and staff and programmers again and again, calling for the firing and replacement and using the most vicious racist innuendo uh, and slander and charges. And really, it's, I think it's an, it's an obligation, it's a responsibility for people to speak out against Steve Brown's tactics, his charges, uh, and the, the way in which he's put it forward and the way in which he's gathered together an opposition. And it's an opposition that keeps changing its name because they're so thoroughly discredited after a year that List Prague becomes ACE, becomes now independents uh, on the board. They're not independent at all. They all co-endorse each other, support each other, use the same charges. I'm very proud that Justice and Unity, year after year, has continued to raise the issues of justice and unity, solidarity, supporting each other and the struggles that move New York City forward. It's not only Steve Brown. We really have to think about the opponents who lend themselves to and support and endorse these same tactics, defending them again and again. If Steve Brown calls for attacking Bernard White with baseball bat and every member of the opposition doesn't see that as a problem, then it says a lot about where the opposition is coming from. And instead, they actually go out of their way to defend this multimillionaire again and again and talk about what he's done for the station. What he's done for the station is actually called on people not to send their donations to the station, but rather to send it to him at his penthouse. And he would take it to the station for them. Now, that kind of charge, as if the station management is, is so irresponsible that they're unable to run the station and provide the wonderful programming that they do. Uh, and, and you will see every member of the opposition who now calls themselves independents operating as a block, a block who supports these activities again and again, supports these charges, and acts in the most disruptive way to stop any activity from happening. The, the use of Robert's Rules of Order to uh, gum up an entire meeting, uh, spending more than an hour on setting an agenda, is just the kind of tactics that go on all the time.